everyone and welcome back to Essence of Polish. Today's video is going to be my birthday manicure even though my birthday was like what two weeks ago. Uh, my birthday was May 9th but yeah I hope you enjoy the video. So the black that I'm using is China Glaze Liquid Leather. And the gold is P Square Technochrome Golden Edge. For the water marble, I went with a random design because the colors wouldn't spread all the way throughout the cup. And not really much I can do with this little bitty design as far as a very detailed design. So I just went with something random, but I still liked it. I forgot to put on Golden Edge for my base color, so I'm just going to do that real quick and dip my nail without letting it dry anyway. It'll be alright. And speaking of base color, you can ignore the beige that I have on my nails right now because if you didn't know, if you're new here, um, I got my nails done at the nail salon for my birthday. These are acrylics. And I told the nail salon guy that I wanted a nude and I was talking about a nude acrylic, but he did the acrylic in clear and so I picked out a nude polish. Like I said, I wanted a nude acrylic but I was like whatever I can do my design on top of this nude polish too so yeah you can ignore the nude polish that I have on I mean I could have done my design on top of the clear acrylic but he told me to pick out a polish so I just picked out a polish he'll be alright <laughs> like this bullseye because it was too small for my thumb so if you're doing a water marble design and you don't like the way your bullseye is turning out then you can just let it dry take it out and start over you can see bubbles in your design so you can pop those before dipping your nail And then for my pinky, I'm going to go in with Pure Ice Hit the Floor, which is a very pretty sparkly, oh my god, I love this polish. A very pretty sparkly red polish, and I'm going to use that on my pinky. I forgot to show it right here, but I will show it later in the video.
Now I'm going to go in with pure ice, hit the floor, and paint two coats on the underside of my nails. For my index and middle finger, I'm going to do the cuff nail design. I've seen this design before but never really knew the name of it. But when you're doing this design, it's better to start with the second color a little higher than you would like it to be because you can always inch down a little closer to your cuticle to adjust it. So it's better to start higher because you don't want to start too low and it's lower than you want it to be. If it is a little lower than you want it to be, then you can go back in with your first color to adjust and fix it, which in my case, I would go back in with the black. Now I'm going back in for a second coat, and the silver is LA Girls Liquid Chrome Nail Polish and the color Brushed Nickel. And the gold is the same color as the Water Marble and that's P-Squared Technochrome Golden Edge. Now I'm going in with China Glaze Liquid Leather to shape and better line up, well, not line up, round up the uh, cuticle line for the cuff design. Now I'm going in with a top coat and if you didn't know my favorite top coat is Sesh Beat. The purpose of the top coat is to make sure your polish is completely dry because for the next step we're going to be using rhinestones. These are some rhinestones I got from Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box if you're interested. And I'm going to use this IBD hard gel to stick them on my nail. I had my finger leaning over to the side to show you guys the rhinestone and then I realized oh snap the thing is sliding to the side. <laughs> Next I'm going in with these beautiful little diamond studs that I also got from Amazon. They come in different sizes and I'm going to be putting them around my cuticles on the black little the black area. And in this bag as you can see I can't really close it once I open it so I have these little small empty acrylic jars that I got from Walmart so once I open a pack I'm just going to dump the whole thing in one of these acrylic jars. I just applied some of the same IBD hard gel that I used for the center diamond on top of my nail. 
I used some of that same heart gel I put it around my cuticles and now I'm just going around applying the diamond studs I dumped out some more studs that were smaller than the ones I was using because for the smaller area or the smaller section around the sides of the nail it's be it was better to use smaller diamonds to fit to fit in there better to fit around the sides better and then I just move them around to make sure they're spaced out evenly and then cure for 30 seconds with my LED lamp that is it for this design I loved wearing this manicure it was so cute I got so many compliments and I just couldn't stop looking at it it was so cute <laughs> some of the diamonds did pop off but I just applied some more hard gel and then put some more diamonds back on top I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe if you liked it and leave a comment letting me know let me know what you think of this design Stay tuned for the last picture for a sneak peek on my next design and I will see you in the next video.